What's up, gamer girls? It's your favorite potassium based breakfast food here to talk about the Glacite tunnels once again because we got a bit of interesting news that should mean that investors are going to be very happy if they bought stuff already. And if you haven't bought some things, you might want to get going. Speaking of buying stuff, there's a fire sale going on today, which means you can go on the Hypixel store and use code BANANA in order to save 5% on your purchase. You can use this for ranks, gems, boosters, you name it, you can save money with code BANANA and I get a little bit of a cut. I mean, look at these skins, chocolate magma cube, whatever the heck this bunny is, pretty cool skins for Easter and I'd really appreciate anyone who uses my code. But let's talk about the stuff in the update. So we already knew about the Devon's necklace coming out in the Glacite tunnels, and this is a pretty darn expensive item. Going into here and looking at the recipe on this thing, it is going to require 10 Devon fragments, a perfect plate, and a shattered locket. The shattered locket is going to be a drop from inside of the mine shafts, but the perfect plate and the Devon fragment, you have some level of investing that you could have done right now, because a perfect plate, you do need to use an an umber tungsten and mithril plate only one of those currently exists and that would be mithril so anyone who has bought these is happy because you at least need to get the one in order to get this perfect plate and craft the devon's necklace but obviously the biggest investing component here was the fragments however there's some more news coming out here because they added a set bonus to this, a tiered bonus called a legacy, zero out of four, grants pristine well in glacite mine shafts. And you know what this means? There's a full set of this. So right now we don't have a view of these items in game because they're not in the casting area here, which is where you'd assume that they would show up and they're nowhere else. But we do have the slash wiki command, which when you do slash wiki Devon cloak or bracelet, or lastly, you can do the belt here. You're going to get sent a found item. It knows that this item exists. And if you clicked here, it would bring you to the wiki page. It's just that the wiki page for the item also doesn't exist right now. And to be fair here, you can't just wiki like random stuff and have it still come up like wiki 15H YouTube rank. Uh, you can see invalid item ID provided. So having the cloak and the bracelet and the belt all in there does for sure mean they're coming out if you weren't already convinced by the fact that there is an equipment piece with a set bonus. And the fact that there is more equipment to this is huge for a bunch of reasons. This shattered locket, for one, is not super common, and it is only from the highest tier of the frozen corpses, the blue guys that you're able to find in the mineshaft, and those guys can only be opened up by using one of these, a skeleton key, which, if you look at the recipe here, requires another perfect plate and a bejeweled handle. The bejeweled handle is not going to be a huge cost here, but the perfect plate is going to add up. These perfect plates are probably going to be pretty expensive. You are able to drop every single plate that you would need to craft a perfect plate from frozen corpses. But the thing about this is you need a key to open up most of these frozen corpses, especially the ones that have that rare chance of giving you the plate. It's less that you're finding a plate more as you're replenishing the one that you just spent because you crafted a key with it. So you are going to need some kind of stockpile of mithril plates. You're going to need a stockpile of these, uh, you're going to need to start stockpiling the new plates when they come out, the tungsten and the umber, because you may see a need to run a lot of frozen corpses if they actually tie the drops all to the frozen corpse. If you have to get the shattered locket thing for the other equipment from corpses as well, it's going to be a lot of skeleton keys that you need to make, which is going to add up the amount of plates you need. So definitely get getting on those now, but they could also tie these drops to other sources. Courses. I think that there's generally enough areas in the glacite tunnels here where you could have all of the equipment from separate spots. So you could have the one from corpses, which could be the locket, but then you could have a very rare chance of finding a piece in the fossil excavator, which would suck to find for people. It would be really rough, but it's definitely an option they could do. There's also a seeming like buff to fishing that they're doing in here with one of these pets. I forget which one it is. Um, it is the pet 
penguin here you can see it has a fishing speed reduction and it has a fishing speed boost whenever you're inside here so it's basically replacing ammonite whenever you're in here and it's promoting you fishing in the tunnels which could mean that hey you could throw the cloak piece in the pond and it's just a rare drop that you have to fish up and then lastly you could have from like the bestiary mobs that are in the mine shaft you could have those guys drop one of the pieces or you could have it be just a high tier craft from a lot of the new materials because there's three new collections here without an insane amount of crafts tied to any of them other than just the plates and the keys and stuff like that so there definitely is room for these drops to be in places separate from frozen corpses Either way, that means you for sure are going to need more Devon fragments, and most likely you will need at least three more perfect plates than the standard one that you were expecting to desperately need, and then beyond that, you're also going to need gemstone chambers. Because yeah, the Pendant of Devon, the only one that we currently have in the game, does require gemstone chambers in order to unlock its two slots. Meaning that you're going to need eight new gemstone chambers if you're trying to max out your mining fortune and have the best equipment possible. Which is going to be pretty damn expensive and should benefit some of the people who were saving these up beforehand. So while we don't know for sure what the source of like the main material, the shattered locket of the other equipments is going to be, there is some very clear investments you can make that are pretty safe to be good purely because we know for a fact that there is four equipment pieces. They wouldn't put a set bonus of four pieces on a new item if there wasn't actually going to be all of those equipment pieces coming out. Beyond equipment though, there is one other thing I want to touch on because there there has been rumblings about an armor set called Vanguard Armor. The reason that people are talking about Vanguard Armor is when you look at every single frozen corpse that you find inside of a mineshaft. Lore-wise, these are guys that literally froze to death whenever they were mining in that mineshaft, and you're looting their dead body. So these guys are wearing existing armor sets they're wearing lapis armor or they're wearing yog armor or they're just wearing in general mining stuff but the highest tier guy is not wearing devon armor he is wearing an armor that when you look in the data of the armor stand is called vanguard armor this could just be aesthetic it looks kind of like a blue devon set so it could just be a super frozen over set it could just be them noting something in the tags there and just having an id so that they can store the armor somewhere because you figure that they have to at least have the colors set somewhere they have to have a bunch of stuff so why not just save it as vanguard armor or there is a new armor set I have a lot of doubts about there being a new armor set purely because Devon is built up as this very mythical being and just a leader when it comes to the mining area. Every single reference we've seen to Devon is basically just talking about him being the god of mining, him being the absolute goat. So keeping that set being the best, at least for general mining, just feels like it would make the most sense. Maybe Vanguard armor is going to be not tied to mining at all maybe it's only going to be better in mine shafts and based on cold or something i'm not a hundred percent sure but i mean we're getting new devon equipment in this update why would they make a new equipment set that's going to be the best mining equipment and then pair it with a different armor set than the equipment is based off of it would be really weird to be running devon's equipment and ditch devon's armor or you know devon's drill it's still the only divine item in the game so i don't really see them going past the armor set here but the moral of the story why we're talking about vanguard armor here is similar to the equipment you are actually able to do slash wiki it now you can slash wiki vanguard helmet and you can see that it is available on the official skyblock wiki once again dead page can't really click on this they haven't made it but the id is something that they've found in game so that does point towards the possibility of the armor set actually being added as i said i have my doubts but hey be on the lookout so yeah maybe new armor but for sure new equipment you're gonna need some gemstone chambers you're gonna need devon fragments and you're probably gonna want to start getting some mithril plates in order to get the perfect plates for all of the important crafts that are along this update some good investment opportunities for people if people have not realized that there is four pieces of this equipment set that are releasing as of right now, we don't know when this update is actually coming out, but it totally could still come out this upcoming week. If it does, expect a ton of content.
content from me because I love these mining updates and I will be grinding this out as much as possible. I'll be streaming on YouTube occasionally and for sure I'll be posting here on YouTube. So leave a subscription down below if you want to see more mining content about the Glacite Tunnels whenever it releases. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope it kept you informed and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.